Shortly before we came to air, we got news from Letitia James, she's the Attorney General of the State of New York, that they are filing a civil suit against former President Donald Trump as well as his uh, children uh, and to really uh, address the issue of overstatement of the value of certain corporations and assets as they sought loans. We welcome now Bloomberg's legal reporter, Eric Larson, to take us through what we know. So it just came out a short time ago, but what do we know, Eric? Uh, what we know is that this uh, three-year investigation has finally culminated in this civil law suit accusing Trump and three of his adult ch children, Don Jr., Eric Trump, and Ivanka Trump, and other individuals and the company of engaging in a long uh, scheme to inflate the value of Mr. Trump's assets for various financial benefits like lower taxes, better bank loan terms, insurance coverage, things like that, um, that it covers a wide range of his properties from things like his 40 Wall Street Tower here in Manhattan uh, to Mar-a-Lago in Florida, and that the scheme went from allegedly 2011 to 2021. So, so we knew a fair amount about this. There had been some reporting about some of the allegations, at least, about some of this overstating. Uh, what is the possible remedy? As you say, it's a civil suit. It's not a criminal suit. That's right. It is a civil case, um, although the attorney general in her press conference today did say that in order to prove her case at trial, she will show that Trump and his company allegedly did break some uh, criminal laws as well, and she did refer the matter to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York, as well as the Internal Revenue Service. So, it's unclear where that might go, but it is a civil case. Um, it's very early stages. Like you said, we've been hearing about this for a while now as James uh, sought to enforce her subpoenas and get uh, deposition testimony from Trump. But this is really just the beginning. It could be a fairly long process. Well, as you say, it's just the beginning. We don't know who will win or lose the case. At the same time, if in fact the Attorney General would have prevailed, do we have a sense of what this would mean for Donald Trump himself, his children, as well as his organization? It's pretty significant. There's a long list of potential pen penalties penalties that she's seeking, um, including barring all of the defendants from being directors of any company for five years, um, barring the company from doing any commercial real estate transactions in New York for five years, and even potentially putting their ability to do business in the state at all at risk. Um, on top of that, she's also seeking uh, about $250 million in disgorgement, what she describes as all the profits that Mr. Trump and his kids and his company ever got from this alleged scheme over the years.